Hi guys, it's Terence. This is David. Today we would like to share with you some of our recent working experience. Uh, as you may know, Student for Liberty is as a group of student leaders around the world to spread the ideas of liberties. Uh, for that reason, they need to provide them with proper training and equip them with uh, skills to spread the ideas of liberty and also have them to have an adequate level of knowledge about liberties. And uh, they have a student academy to achieve this purpose and which included some online course and training. They are trying to renew the platform and we launch a new platform to enhance the teaching quality and standards. This is what I have been doing last week. I was asked to implement a new learning platform using the WordPress. I needed to come up with some ideas to enhance the learning experience of students uh, for example, I inserted a point system and some gaming elements to make the whole using experience uh, more appealing and interesting. This is quite new to me because I'm not a IT guy. So this IT stuff is quite uh, well, quite difficult and very different from with what I have expected. But <clears throat> new experience is good experience, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm also involved in the development of self. Asia program and try to uh, renew the existing program for African students. Um, development for a new course and curriculum can be quite tricky because we have to localize our course uh, and all the curriculum for that particular region uh, uh, for our target student. Uh, for example, neither uh, protests or debates in India uh, above a lot of uh, some proper ways to spread the ideas, spread some new ideas and promote some new ideas. And for this reason, we have to insert other experience, uh, other skills or other training to help them to better spread the ideas of uh, to the students in India instead of protests or organizing debate. Maybe they can hold a forum and maybe they can uh, organize some can uh, to play some game to spread the ideas. Uh, to further promote the libertarian ideas, we also need to have our students to better understand the importance of rule of law and the powers of markets. And for this reason, I have to do a lot of research, develop some case study to provide more information to provide better training and learning experience to our students. I see uh, many efforts from the Student for Liberties have been pushed to promote the ideas of market and also the importance of rule of law. I'm also flattered by how they are impressed by the degree of economic freedom uh, has been achieved in Hong Kong. But uh, on the other hand, I feel quite sorry and worried about the existing situation in Hong Kong that people seem to take this hard-earned value for granted. And these are the very foundations of the prosperity in Hong Kong. We should work hard to defend this value instead of exchanging them for some sort of short-term benefits like a achieving some political purpose or both in elections. Uh, that is some of my thoughts and experience uh, recently. Yeah. For me, I'm currently involved in a pension fund integrity project at Recent Foundation, which is actually a think tank advocacy and research project that aims at advising on the restructuring of the state pension funds that has been criticized these years for creating a lot of unfunded pension liabilities. These state pension funds, or what we call as the public pension funds, are actually the retirement security destined for providing a continuous stream of income for the public servants, such as the policemen, the firefighters, the public school teachers, judges, and etc. when they are retired. Most of them are structured as the de defined benefit plan that guarantees the retirees a certain amount of return. Nevertheless, there has been thousands of billions of unfunded liabilities due to the underperformance of the financial markets, as well as the increasing portion of the aging population when the baby boomers start to retire. So our think tank has done a lot of research and lobbying works for advocating the proposed reform on these state pension funds. And in the last couple of weeks, it's very encouraging to read on the news that the state pension funds in Michigan and in Pennsylvania have adopted major public um, pension reform bills. 
Among other things, the reform will move the future um, public employees' pension into a defined contribution plan and try to stop the growth of the 29th billion and the 700 billion unfunded liabil liabilities, respectively, for the Michigan Public Schools Employees Retirement System, as well as some major Pennsylvania public pensions, respectively. And this has been externally validated when the Modi's has changed credit positive for these public uh, pension funds for the Michigan. So it is really good to feel that um, the research reports and the ideas promoted by the think tanks have been finally adopted by the legislation after so many years of advocacy. And I think this exactly the thing that when we are trained, it is really possible to move the window of policy possibilities through advocating your policies and ideas as long as you believe in it and devote it to move it among the public domain. So this is the end of our sharing for this week and see you next week. Thank you.